you can do a lot in 30 minutes. Learn a new thing, scroll shorts, play the cut the rope, and my personal favorite, getting confused. What? I mean, it looks great. So to take advantage of this nice round number of possibilities, I'm going to pick a way to beat my head against the goddamn wall. Now, I didn't actually decide by the whale, obviously. Well, look by the whale. But to regain my original 200% file, which I lost because my older brother Xbox One died in its sleep two years ago. And while we will miss her, I need that file. It's for my collection of things that I've done in my life, which is not much, so I like, I, I really need it. Now, to get S rank, there are a few requirements. One is playing in expert mode, which only comes up after beating the game. Second is getting all those things on the scoreboard. And third, don't be dog shit. Oh no, pretty simple. Getting it takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour per boss for the first time. But it's not my first time, so I'm not going to be doing it that slow, because no one wants to see that. Instead, 30 minutes to do 5 of them. The first 5. That was what I gave myself, and this is how I did it. The first day was a day of hubris. I'd come back to this game after not playing it for around a month or two and expect to get perfect scores on 5 bosses on the hardest difficulty in the game. Genuinely, I thought I would get it on that stream. Turns out, I don't have a bear inside of me, but a little cow. And believe me when I say that my first and second runs were awful. It was filled with resets, deaths, frustration. Oh, I thought he was gonna punch! It's just awful time. What the fuck? So my first run went over an hour long, and I started another one immediately to rectify that time. Three, two, one, boom. Okay. Fuck started. And I did pretty bad. Honestly, on all the bosses, I did awful. Just, just the worst. But the worst by far, for me, was Cagnet Carnation. In the first run I started the boss and finished them in 10 minutes. Not too bad. That was actually better than my 20 minute slog afterwards with Hilda Berg. Come on S, come on S, let's go. Which leads me to the end of the second run where it actually got bad. You see, I slogged through Hilda again, but when I made it to Cagney, I quit the whole run. Because honestly, fuck this bitch. Fuck him, I hate him. Fuck this guy. DK, well, I'm already in Roy. Do not call this Tommy in it music. Oh, come on, get fucked loser, let's go! <laughs> day 2 ended up just being one run. I didn't have much time, I had to get through the day, I had to go to bed, being responsible, not like that anymore, and it's not that hard to make it not bad, so it didn't really seem like it was going to shape up too much, but... Oh, this is so doable, holy shit. First up, the root pack. To get an S rank, my strategy was to front load my parries and use the spider shot to keep hitting the boss while also destroying the carrots. And if there are no carrots, I just did this, rinse repeat until I was done. If you're having trouble on this guy when you're playing yourself, it's probably with the onion. And if that's the case, make sure to watch the top of the screen, not your character. It'll feel weird if you're not used to doing that since you'll start to think about how the tears are coming from above and that it's actually physically impossible for them to do that and lose all momentum. Actually, it kinda does? At least in my testing. And if it's not the onion, use your eyes. I ended up with uh. the S rank on my second try without much fuss. <sighs> Afterwards, I decided to head to the only closet couple in the game. But don't worry, boys. Your secret's safe with me. My strategy for Ruby and Croaks is similar. I front love my parries, kill the fireflies with a spider shot, and on the second phase, I do really nothing special. But in the final phase, there are these coins that shoot where you are. The best way to avoid these is just jump over them when they shoot, or to take them out of the game entirely. And for the jumps, they each have a simple rhythm that, once you know it, are simple to continue for long periods. Easy. My first sucked, but my second try was actually pretty good. I just need to finish the final phase and- Ow. Ah, oh, that fucking sucks! I then proceeded to reset three times in the first phase before finally playing past it and getting the S rank. Here we go. Honestly, my attempts were sloppy and shitty, but with how hard this fucking game is, 
I'm okay with that. Third attempts ain't too bad, especially considering the next one had five. My strategy for him has been the same for a long time. Get right the fuck up in his face and just shoot his face. Hence all the damage I've taken and the three resets. If you ever happen to encounter a slime like this, however, in the wild, I don't recommend doing what I did. It was dumb. Instead, keep your distance and yell at her far if really mean things about its appearance. Hey! Kill yourself! My first try here was as great as all my others were. Ah! And the second, third, and fourth were all a bit worse. But the fifth time I got here, I got it. So who cares about the middle ones? We could just put all that back here. Perfect. Now, those two are the easiest for me. Their patterns are pretty simple. They're not that annoying. They just click. Which is why I always dread this part of my attempts. Typically, I go back here, give myself the most reaction type possible, and I stay here. This is my place. That's genuinely my only strategy here and if you want a strategy here watch these ufos they have different moments where they shoot know them and watch them hilda is the boss to lock in for for me and on the first run i once again got there almost but slipped on my own car this time though the second try was equally decent since i very nearly was at the final phase and the third try was where i finally started to go a bit more quiet focused and got it done yeah. oh. at this point I was feeling how possible it was, and finally, the nerves hit me. Oh, this is so doable. Holy shit. Am I gonna get it like, it's like 10.40 p.m. on like Wednesday? <laughs> is this gonna be a one like video thing? I had taken 21 minutes for the first four and was pretty surprised this was actually on pace. So with nine minutes left and the challenge finally on the first good pace, it was make or break for the finish, which on this boss, at the 50% chance of completion so far. With my chest buzzing, I felt excited to finally get this done, but I need to actually beat the boss first, and it all depended on this damn flower. Fuck. For this boss, my best advice and main strategy is don't focus on him. Counter to it, I know, but the boss is quite literally the least important guy on the screen for most of this fight. Once I see this animation, stop looking at him, immediately look at the top of the screen, and I watch the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen until these vines grow. Then I kill these things with the splatter shot, not watching the boss pretty much at all outside of my peripheral vision. Unlike other bosses, I also didn't front load the parries, since at the end, there are these. So don't worry about those, just focus on not getting hit, and pay attention to the bombs. With that in mind, I played my first attempt. I was nervous, then my second. Two tries isn't that bad if I did it, right? I was still nervous, but I knew it would be fine. Just need to take my time and breathe. That is until I had to start my third attempt. Before I knew it, it was way too close to 30 minutes for me to be actually comfortable in what I was doing, but I didn't let it end. I started my fourth attempt instead, and unlike the other bosses where I played in silence, I found comfort in incoherent rambling the entire time until I finished the boss. Bro, imagine Grammarly email ad, Grammarly fucking ad in the final like part of me getting this, imagine. Thank you Grammarly, you didn't sponsor me at all, I hate you, but you're still in my fucking video because I have to focus, <gasps> and I think I just got it. Is that it? That's it. I know it's it. I don't know why I'm even asking. Within 30 minutes, the entirety of equal aisle one. 26 minutes, 7 seconds, and 0.02 seconds. Fully S rank. At the end of the day, this means nothing. But it is a little nice that I can say that I've done it. And extreme that day was quite empty since the journey was so short. Both together, probably fitting the dead time in most other streamers day to day. But I didn't mind so much since before all this, there was what sparked this challenge in the first place that I was still so proud of. I mentioned earlier how I lost access to my file on the Xbox. What I failed to mention was I decided to beat the game in a single stream Let's go! with only the first gun, the pea shooter, with no charms, no supers, no other weapons.